All right, so for number 20, it says Alma bought a laptop um, computer at a store that gave a 20% discount off of its original price. The total amount she paid to the cashier was P dollars, including an 8% sales tax on the discounted price, which of the following represents the original price in terms of P? All right. So there's a discount. Do I know how much this thing cost? No. no. So I'm just going to say the cost was uh, X. And so I have the original cost minus 20%, which is 0.2 X. And when I was done with that, when I do the math on that, that would be 0.8 times X. But there was also a sales tax on the discounted price. So that means I would have 0.8x plus um, 0 0.00, wait, no, point, just one zero, 0 0.08 times uh, 0.8x, right? So that's how much she paid total. Um, so that would be P, but now I just got to clean up all these X's. So when I multiply this through, so I've got equals 0.8X, and then this would be, what's 8.8 .8 times 0 0.008? So we say 0 0.8 times, I know it's 6.4 something, but yeah, 0 0.064. So that's 0 0.064. times x, and that's equal to p, and then they want us to write this in terms of x, so that means i got to solve for x, so now i got to add these up, um, so that would be plus 0.8, we might run out of time, plus 0 0.8, 8.64, and then I got to divide this by 8.64. Now, I have a suspicion that 8.8 .8 times 1.08 equals my 0.1, or my 0.864, so let me, let me just double check. Uh, I simplified a little too quick, so 0.8 times 1.08 equals 0 0.0864, so it's D. I could have just left this the way it was. Like, I could factor this out. Up here, I could have factored out the 0.8. That's how. That's where that comes from. So D is the correct answer. I kind of rushed through that. Maybe I'll re-record that tomorrow.